everyone, Lewis here, and I thought I'd bring you some recent news relating to Pokemon Go. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. I have a lot to talk about, and this week, Niantic has announced we're getting a Festival of Colors global event, which of course will be starting this coming Tuesday, March 15th, and will be ending on Sunday, March 20th. The start time on the 15th will be 10 a.m. local time. The end time on March 20th will be 8 p.m. local time. And we get an, another Pokemon from the Alola region. Or Koriko, which of course, like with Furfru changing its forms depending on which part of the world, and with Fabebe and its colored forms, Bele style or Koriko will be available in Europe, the Middle East, and Africa, while Pom Pom style will be available in the Americas from down to Canada all the way I mean from up in Canada down to, to South America and will be available to catch here in the United States Hollywood style will be available in African, Asian Pacific and Caribbean islands like say you can find this in Hawaii you can also find it in the Caribbean and of course, Senzu style will be available in the Asian Pacific region, which of course, because of its Japanese origin, you likely could find one in Japan. Which of course, this makes total sense. There will also be a collection challenge. And the following Pokemon that will be available as Shinies in the wild include... Drowsy, Horsey, Gliger, Slugma, Talo, Trap Pinch, Turtwig, Crogunk, Fletchling, and Amoa Lola. And of course, Oracorico and its forms will be available to catch depending on which part of the world you are in. And of course, them along with Beautifly and Dust Tox will not be available as Shinies. The only way to get Dust Tox and Beautify as Shinies is to find a Shiny Wormpool. And of course, in One Star Raids, you'll still be able to catch Ruck, Rough Rock, but you'll also be getting Jigglypuff and the Hoenn Starters, Torchic, Trico, and Mudkip as Shinies. In th Three Star Raids, Alolan Marowak, Chansey, and Dredgeon. Which, of course, they will be available as Shinies. Whereas Marowak, Cantonian Marowak, and Umbreon will not be. Tornadus Tharian form will be back at the level 5 legendary raid boss, replacing Tapacoco. That will be available as a shiny and Mega Lopney will be the Mega Raid Boss and that will also be available as a shiny. The following shiny Pokemon you'll be able to get in field research task encounters will be the Kanto Starters, Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle. And you'll also be able to catch Alolan Grimer, Normal Cast Form, Rainy Cast Form, Plant, Sand, and Trash Cloak forms of Burmy will also be available as Shinies, while Sunny and Snowy form cast forms are not available as Shinies at this point. And of course, all forms of Oracorco will also be available to, to catch as field research encounters. And completing certain field research tasks will, will reward you with 
Mega Energies for Venusaur, Charizard, and Blastoids. And there'll also be shirts for your avatar based on this event. Coming to the game. In other Pokemon news, also announced in the wake of Community Day, there will be Community Day meetups in Europe, such as in Germany. You'll also be able to do a meetup in Delhi in India, Monterey in Mexico, Warsaw in Poland. You'll be able to do meetups in the UK, with two of them being in London, and three meetups here in the US, Indianapolis, Indiana, Oakland, California, and Washington, D.C. And of course, tickets for Seville Safari Zone are now available for sale in the event section of the app, or you can also get them on the official Pokemon Go website. And of course, Pokemon such as Miltank, Solrock, Tauros, Corpfish, Unown E, and Dino will be the Pokemon you encounter during Safari Zone in Seville, in Spain. Also announced, there will be support in Turkish for the game, for, for Turkish players who live in Turkey. And, of course, this Sunday is Santru Community Day. As I already mentioned earlier about the Community Day meetups, if you're not able to do those, depending on which part of the world you are in, Alolan and Cantonian's Santru are the Pokemon you'll be able to catch. And, of course, the ticketed event will be available after this video has long gone up. For one dollar or equal equivalent. One more thing. I will be streaming this weekend on Twitch. With um, doing some Need for Speed High Stakes on Saturday. And of course Sunday I will be live streaming Santru Community Day in Pokemon Go. And of course I also have an announcement to make to go with this. I'll be interviewing and talking to Trina Mason, also known as Trina the Mermaid. I'll be sure to post the links to her channel and her platforms in the description below. Once the interview is finished and I upload it here on YouTube, I will also be posting the links to that as well. Which of course, this interview will talk about a lot of things like how how she became a diver, mermaid, and so much more. Thanks for watching everyone! You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, and TikTok. Remember, it's time for adventure!